welcome back in our pilot session. So we are discussing our lesson that is nothing but what cell. Okay. So in this cell lesson, already we have discussed about the history of the cell, how to observe the cell, which instruments we have to use, and what is meant by staining, and also we have discussed about the unicellular and the multicellular organisms. Okay. Also we have discussed the different uh, examples for the cell. Okay. But one point I will tell you now here about the multicellular organisms. So now we are telling as what multicellular organisms, okay, which having the many cells in their body, or their body is made up of many cells. That organisms are called as what multicellular organisms. But these multicellular organisms are also made from the unicell or from the single fertilized egg. Okay, so when the uh, there is a fusion of the male and the female sex gamete, then the eggs get fertilized, and that fertilized egg is what? Single cell. And this single cell, they are single fertilized egg, started to get divide itself, and then it get converted slowly, slowly, slowly into the multicellular organisms. Okay, so now we are telling us what a human being is a multicellular, but it is also made from the single cell okay it's from the single cell it gets slowly slowly converted into the multicellular organisms okay so up till now we have discussed about the unicellular and the multicellular organism organisms now we will discuss about the level of organization from cell to organisms means from how the cell from how organisms are get made from the cell to different organisms okay so let's see which are the different stages involved in that so the first one is what say what is it by the say it is a structural and functional unit of a living organisms okay next one when the same group when the similar cells form a group then it forms what tissues okay when the same type of the cells comes together then it forms the tissues okay next one when the tissues comes together, okay, so see here, we have this one for definition of the cell. What is it by the cell? It is a structural and a functional unit of a living organism. When the similar cells comes together, when the similar cells forms a group, then it forms a tissue. When the tissues comes together, then it forms the organ, okay. When the different tissue comes together, then it forms the organ. When the different organs comes together, then it forms what organ system. Okay, then it forms what organ system. And from that different organ system, what is the end product that organisms are getting made? Okay. Now we will take one example. If the cells are there, then it forms the tissue. Okay, then the tissues form the different organs. Now here we will take the digestive system organs are there. Okay. So that cells forms the tissue, from the tissue the digestive system organ get made. From the digestive system organ, this digestive system get prepared and from this system the organisms are getting made. Okay, so like that so many systems are working in our body. So in this way there is a structural or the level of the organization present in the human being. Or also we can say like that structural formation is present in the multicellular organisms and this organization is absent in a unicellular organism okay now the next one point we will discuss that is shape and size of the cell okay so there are the different shape and the size of the cells are present or there are there is a lot of variation in the shape and the size of the cell but very important thing is that the shape and the size the shape and the size of the cell is depends upon which type of the function the cell is performing okay so according to the function of the cell their size and the shape get changed next one so there are the different shapes of the cells are present we can say the spherical shape mostly the eggs are in the spherical shape we can say that then the spindle shape the muscle cells are in the spindle shape then the elongated shape or we can say that nerve cells are in elongated shape then oval shape is there, the red blood cells which are present in our body which are, that are what oval shape and next one is what branch shape. Okay, so all these are the different shape of the cell. In the image you can see the different shapes of the cell, like the different different cells are present in our body. But how is their shape? The shape get varies, that is which type of the functions they are performing. Okay. 
So this is about the shape. But there are the certain cells which doesn't have the proper shape. Okay, they continuously changing their shape. For example, what amoeba? As we know, the amoeba is a single cell. Okay, unicellular organism. So like that, amoeba and in our body also there is one type of the shell that is called white blood cell. So that amoeba and the white blood cell is continuously changing their body shape. Okay. So that we the, we will talk about amoeba. Why amoeba is continuously changing their body shape to indulge the different food items and to do the movement or to do the locomotion. They are continuously making their projections for them. We are calling it called pseudopodia. Okay. So in this way, by doing the movement of their body, they are do, doing the certain function. That is the reason the amoeba doesn't have the proper shape. Okay, that is. So there are the only two cells which doesn't have the proper shape. That is what we can call as amoeba and the white blood cells which are present in the human beings. Okay. Next one we will talk about the size of the cell. So as we know, the cell is a microscopic substance present in the human body. So there are so many small cells are there which are present in our body to observe them we have to use the microscope okay and if you want to observe the cell organs which are present in the cell that then we have to use what electronic microscope okay so here we will discuss about the size of the cell so the very small size of the cell or the very cells the um, proportion of the very small cell or the measurement of that small cell is what 0 0.2 to 100 micrometer okay and for example if you say there are so many bacteria cells are there which are very small and their size comes under about 0.2 to 100 micrometer now we will discuss about the very large cell okay so the very large cell measures in the form, uh, measurement that is about 170 millimeter to 130 millimeter that is nothing but what the ostrich egg okay so as we know the ostrich egg it is the largest egg and whatever the eggs we can see that eggs is nothing but what a single cell the hen egg also we can see that hen egg is also nothing but the single cell that we can easily see we, or we, we can see with our naked eye no need to use the microscope to observe the cell of the egg okay so that egg whatever the egg we can see that is nothing but what a single cell like that the ostrich egg is also the single cell and as we know the ostrich egg is the largest egg so that is the reason the very, very large cell that is what ostrich egg and the measurement of that cell is what 170 millimeter to 130 millimeter okay now we discuss about in the human body in the human body there are the largest and the smallest cells are also present we will talk about the largest cell in the human body then it is what nerve cell and its measurement is about what 100 centimeter and we will talk about the smallest cell in the human body then it is what 7 micrometer that is nothing but what red blood cell okay so in the human body the longest cell is what nerve cell and in the human body the smallest cell is what red blood cell what is the measurement of the longest cell 100 centimeter also what is the measurement of the smallest cell 7 micrometer okay so this is all about what we have discussed about the level of organization also we have discussed about the cell shape and the size okay so here we will stop uh, also we have discussed about the shape and the size okay so in the beginning also i have said that that shape and the size of the cell doesn't depends upon the uh, size of the organism for example we can say that if the elephant is there and if the rat is there then the size of the elephant nerve cell and the size of the rat nerve cells both are same okay it doesn't get varies with the size of the organism okay so the nerve cell present in the uh, elephant is same size with the nerve cell present in the rat okay how the shape and the size of the cell is get fixed according to their function and according to their uh, according to their function the shape and the size of the cells are getting fixed okay so this is all about today today we will stop here we will meet in the next video with the next point and for today Thank you.